Thanks for joining us. In this episode, Field Guides co-founder Roseanne Rowlett talks with guides Terry Stevenson and Joe Grossell in South Africa. We have just finished uh, a three-week tour of South Africa that was organized by Joe Grossell and co-led by Joe and Terry Stevenson, and it was fantastic. And Terry used to lead this trip, and he has since found out about Joe. And how did you meet him? Uh, well, as you know, I've been doing this South Africa trip for many years, and we used to do it with Rod Cassidy. Um, and Rod said when we when we pass through Polokwane, which is a fantastic birding area of acacia bush, we must get Joe to join us because Joe is like the world expert on this area and the short clawed lark, which is this incredibly range restricted endemic. And we saw it fantastic this, this morning. morning. <laughs> <laughs> and also, um, I had the world record for the most birds ever seen in one day, and Joe, I'd heard about because he was always trying to beat me, <laughs> <So> <laughs> hasn't quite made it yet, <laughs> but damn close behind. Anyway, I've been doing trips with Joe for uh, four years, five years now, and he's going to be doing a lot more work with us at Field Guides. Um, we'll probably be doing Namibia and Botswana together, I mean, alternately, and um, plus doing this South Africa trip, and maybe it'll lead to other things too. Uh, Joe, you're going to be doing two brand new trips um, for Field Guides starting next year, aren't you? Yeah, two, the, yeah, thanks. Two very exciting trips. One um, which we've called birds and wine in southern Africa because uh, we're going to do the best of the birding in the Western Cape in that beautiful Feinbos habitat and as you know it's a great wine area. Uh, Marcelo Padua will be co-leading that one with me and uh, from the Cape we're going to be going up to the northeastern parts of South Africa to the Kruger National Park and uh, hopefully see lots of big game and more birds. And then there's another very exciting one, uh, which starts off in South Africa. We do Kruger and uh, some of the very, very exclusive private lodges to the west of Kruger, and then go up to some other great wildlife areas and birding areas in Zambia, near the Victoria Falls. We'll also be including the Vic Falls. Um, on a morning visit and then we'll be cruising down the Zambezi River and we'll end off in Botswana in the wonderful Chobe River. So two very exciting tours coming up, right? Uh, Wish I could come with you. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I could come too. Joe has been organizing trips and guiding and training guides in South Africa for many years. Um, what are talking about the training local guides? All right, well, um, we've got two or three very interesting initiatives where we identify young local guides who have a uh, better ability than their colleagues in spotting and identifying birds. We take those guys and we nurture them and mentor them, and eventually they become independent bird guides and we've already made use of one or two of them on this tour which is great so it is paying off and then uh, we're doing some training of guides in places like the Kruger National Park um, and all the way through to Zambia where I, I have a contract to, to mentor some of the guides there and I'm involved in a wonderful organization called the Tracker Academy where they take young boys from impoverished areas and train them in various disciplines of tracking big game and also identifying bird calls. 
Um, so yeah, very, very interesting stuff. And he's been leading his own field trip, his own tours in South Africa. And his wife does all the arrangements for us. So she is, it's a two-person team. Yeah. And they do a great job if this okay. trip is any, <laughs> any indicator. No. <laughs> well, they nice. arrange all our Namibia, Botswana tours as right. well, so right. everything runs perfect, actually. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, you know, another, another thing I was thinking about is Joe has, he has in-depth knowledge of all this stuff. So it's not just the birds, it's like if you see a a burrow on the ground, he knows who who built it and he knows if there if some honey badger has broken open a dung ball. <laughs> 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 and he knows who did it and why. And you know it's it's wonderful to have that kind of in depth knowledge in place. Yeah, sure. yeah. Absolutely. It's been great. Oh thank you. <laughs> yeah, and I love it as much as the participants do. Every day is, uh, is, is, you know, brings out the best of me in terms of guiding. And um, as you've seen, I uh, get very excited when I see some of the birds or pangolins. Pangolins, that was the one. That we, <laughs> we had a marvelous sighting of pangolin, one of Africa's incredible. rarest species. It took me 41 years to see a pangolin. Which Living we, in Africa. <laughs> which we got in Kruger just a few days ago. The uh, ground pangolin. So, Fabulous. Yeah. yeah. That was great. And we've had some how many species of birds have been here? Oh, I haven't counted really, but it would be close on 500. Or 500. Mm. 500. Yeah. Like Including the endemic families, the rock jumpers and the sugar and birds. The sugar birds. All four species localized there. Localized Oh, many, yeah. Species. Yeah. Yeah. And it's wonderful when you can get about 15 more on the last morning of the tour, which we, <laughs> <laughs> which we, we had this morning. Them in this morning. <laughs> yeah, really did. But right now we probably need to kind of head for the airport. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> So, thank you. Thanks, Terry. Yep. Thanks, Roseanne. <laughs>